Hey everyone, today is part three of that three-part series on the three types of hair loss we find in Hashimoto's patients, what those mean, and what to do about it. And today we're talking about androgenic alopecia, so let's get into it. So when I say androgenic alopecia, what we're saying is hair loss caused by androgens. Now androgens are hormones like DHEA, testosterone, 5-alpha-dihydrotestosterone. Excessive amounts of those causes hair loss, okay? So let's just define a few terms in case you haven't watched the other two parts already. When we say hair loss, we're talking about excessive hair loss. Normal hair loss is you're gonna shed about 50 to 100 hairs per day. We know that thyroid hormones greatly influence, they're necessary, absolutely necessary for hair follicle growth, hair follicle maintenance. We talked about in part one, the classic hypothyroid hair loss pattern. Uh, and in that pattern, what happens is you get thinning, uh, sparse hair. It can be kind of coarse and dull and lifeless and lackluster. Part two, we talked about the alopecia areata pattern and how that is dramatically different from the first pattern is because this is discrete patchy hair loss, right? And it's autoimmune. This hair loss, androgenic alopecia, also has sort of a pattern. Uh, essentially what happens is as high androgen, uh, what they do is they cause progressive shrinking of the hair follicles. And so you lose your hair number and then you lose hair. Now that pattern, uh, also called female pattern loss, you can see in the frontal area, central, uh, even the parietal area, but it's not patchy, right? It's, doesn't, it's not like a, a discrete coin-shaped area, right? It's not alopecia areata, and it's certainly not just overall diffuse. It's really you lose hair in certain areas, right? Now, men have sort of a similar pattern called male pattern baldness, but this sort of female pattern loss, it really is the most common cause of hair loss in women, especially older women, especially when you hit menopause because uh, you tend to have a little bit of an imbalance or a, a rebalancing towards having more unopposed uh, androgens because estrogen levels drop. Now, what is the relationship between this and Hashimoto's though, right? Okay, so in Hashimoto's, right, that's an autoimmune problem, number one cause of low thyroidism, but Hashimoto's is related to uh, impaired glucose metabolism. And there is research to show that this type of androgenic alopecia can be caused or worsened by something called insulin resistance. And what that means is that when you are insulin resistant, your cells are not responding to insulin's request, which is to get glucose out of your blood and into your tissues. When you are insulin resistant, what happens is that glucose starts to pile up in your bloodstream and that can become very inflammatory, uh, makes you gain weight, can make your hemoglobin A1C number go up. Uh, there is interestingly a little connection between high androgens and Hashimoto's already known and that is with PCOS, uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome, because about 30% of people, depending on who you read, I'll put it this way, a significant number of women with PCOS have undiagno undiagnosed Hashimoto's. Today we're talking about how Hashimoto's can cause insulin resistance because Hashimoto's is inflammatory and inflammation is one of the things that can make those insulin receptors malfunction so that they are resistant or not working properly. It's really the same thing that can happen in Hashimoto's patients whose TSH looks good and their T4s looks good and they take Synthroid but they still have low thyroid symptoms. That's not because they have a quantity problem any longer. It's because they have a receptor problem, a usage problem. And it, thyroid hormone receptors um, inside the cell, they can be blocked or blunted or just kind of messed with so that you don't function, you don't get the benefit of the thyroid hormones. And the number one thing that does that is inflammation from some source. And in insulin resistant, it's also inflammation from some source that can do that. Also high levels of cortisol can do that. So the connection is if you have Hashimoto's, at least in my practice anyway, over the last 20 years, I see you know a lot of new Hashimoto's patients every month and they don't feel good and they are still taking medication and their numbers look okay, but they're not functioning that way, which means their immune system is still probably not under control. So I see a lot of Hashimoto's patients that have insulin resistance. And if you've got insulin resistance, it's very easy to get this androgenic alopecia, right? Did you follow that? So I'll do it again. If you have Hashimoto's, it's inflammatory. You can uh, be promoting insulin resistance and weight gain and that kind of stuff. And if you have that, that is biochemically 
associated with increased levels of androgens in women. And that is what can cause that androgenic alopecia hair loss, right? Uh, frontal, central, parietal. So if you have that situation, what do you do about it? Well, you need to be checked and see, am, are you insulin resistant? You have the, I gotta have the right test run. So you have to automatically, right out of the bat, you gotta be working with a doctor that understands the, that connection we just talked about, right? The Hashimoto's receptor problem, uh, inflammation, insulin resistance, right? They gotta understand that whole uh, physiological connection and then they gotta know how to test for it. There's a lot of different tests you can do to look for that. I mean, there's the standard hemoglobin A1C. Uh, sometimes we've even done like a, a glucose tolerance test. Don't do that very often. Uh, you can look at uh, C-peptide, but then you can also uh, look for levels of androgens, right? You can do what's called Dutch testing. You can do blood testing for hormones, but then you've got to really also look at the immune system because the immune system is, a, a as I mentioned it like 10 times, it is a key player in all those different scenarios. So I like to look at lymphocyte immunophenotyping. Uh, sometimes I'll do a multiple tissue autoimmune testing. Uh, the point is, though, that you've got to be working with a doctor that knows all that. Otherwise, it's going to be really easy to waste a lot of time or someone's going to tell you to like, kind of live with it. And, and you don't have to live with it. Uh, over the last 20 years, I've worked with, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Hashimoto's patients, all with the different types of hair loss that we've talked about in this series, right? They've had the classic kind of low thyroid, sparse, thinning, lackluster hair uh, pattern. They've had the alopecia areata pattern. And they've had the androgenic alopecia pattern. No matter which pattern it is, you can almost always get to the bottom of it and make positive changes, but you gotta do enough of the right digging and enough of the right testing. You gotta know what to test and you gotta know how to treat it. And I guess lastly, what I would say is you also have to have some kind of a, a standard, you know, right? You have to have some uh, benchmark in place that says, hey, how long should it take to do any of this stuff, right? You know, in, in my experience, when I do my treatment plans in my office, uh, I like to do my treatment plans in 30 day chunks that's usually plenty of time to find out if you're on the right path, even with hair loss, right? So I hope you found this series uh, helpful. And again, what does it mean if you have androgenic alopecia and Hashimoto's? Well, it means something's driving that and you gotta dig in and find what's making those androgens high. Is it uh, PCOS? Is it your immune system? Is it the fact that your blood sugar and your diet's out of control? And what do you do about it? Well, you gotta track it down. You gotta work with someone that understands how to help you track it down uh, and give you the right guidance. So I hope you found that series helpful and I'll see you next time.